The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. This is CNEagles.com. I'm Matthew Osborne. She is Carson Moon Golf Coach. Suzanne Shrudwick. Suzanne, you announced your spring schedule today. You have trips to three states, including two here in the Volunteer State. First off, what was uh, what was the key for making the schedule? Were there any, anything specific you're looking for to get set for conference? Yeah, I think just the level of competition and the level of events that we wanted to play. Um, I've put in another um, Division I um, event. And then the event with uh, with Florida Southern, the Grasslands Intercollegiate um, in Grasslands, Lakeland, Florida. That's going to be a big one. So, you know, we start out at Kiowa. Um, that's Tusculum's event against a very strong field. So that'll give us a really good indication of where we are. Um, the next one then at Grasslands with Florida Southern be very similar to the to the level of competition at Kiowa. Um, and then we have a couple of weeks off, which we can regroup, reassess, um, get some good practice in. And we play on our home turf at Sevierville with, uh, with the Bobby Nichols with Tennessee Tech. So really looking forward to that one because it's the smaller one division schools, but it will give that. I always love to put in a, a division one school um, event, um, you know, because it's sort of a win-win for us. So. Last last couple of years, we played at Campbell's um, and done well. Mm -hmm. So I think being able to now get into this one finally, you know, get into it, get into it, um, it, it's it's big for us. Yeah. You play at the Kiowa uh, tournament every year. Yeah. I mean, since you've been here, you've played there, but you changed yep. courses this year. Is that going to play a key into to the uh, how you play? I don't think so. Um, we've actually, when we've been there, we've taken advantage of being there and gone over and practiced at a couple of the other courses. So, it, you know, they're, they're all really good. It's all positional golf, so th just the difference isn't going to change much. The Florida Southern event down in Lakeland, Florida, mm -hmm. you'll see a lot of schools from Florida. Do you hope you see your girls take that, look at the teams from Florida and see how they match up and know what they need to work on after that tournament? Yeah, it's, you know, we, we had a team discussion on this um, and we were actually late. We were on a wait list to get into it, so I'm really pleased that finally we did get in. Typically, um, that's only open to the bigger schools. They, they really don't open that event up you know, for teams like us, but I think winning the conference, um, showing that we can compete, um, got us into that event. So it's it's a little bit of a risk because it, if you don't play well, then your rankings really drop. But I'm of the mindset and I'm really pleased that the girls were very excited and wanted to play in this event to test their skills, to see where they were in the middle of the season heading into um, the conference and defending that so it, it will be a big event I mean the girls have to practice and play this through the winter you know in the next couple of weeks in the next month before we get back in we can't just wait until the season starts so hopefully they're working hard the last two regular season meets are in your own backyard down yeah. in survival and then you go to Tusculum's event up at uh, Lake Link Hills uh, right. Two turn two two uh, choruses you know well and two places you've performed well. Is that a do you want to kind of maybe is that like to boost the moment, the confidence yeah. going into conference? Yeah, the, you're then. I think we're on an uphill climb at the beginning of the the season, and then we hit the peak, and then we're then we go down on the down slope. And I think the last two events heading into conference we will really build that momentum. That's what happened last year, and it worked out really well. We peaked at conference. And that's kind of what I'm hoping for again this year. I, th I feel as though the team, we build confidence. It's, it's not something that we have straight away. We build it, and with those last two events, I think we'll be on the same track. Conference in Monroe, North Carolina, you played yeah. at the, in the, turn, the chorus uh, in the fall, Wingate's hosting this year. You'll go in as, re as reigning champions. What's going to be the key for you all to repeat and go back to back? Yeah, it's an, uh, it's an event, and I'm glad we played in it. You need to play that course. It will be slightly different conditions um, than we experienced in the fall. It, it's a tricky little course, so having the advantage of playing it, the girls now know what to expect. Um, there's some definite the key holes that we've got to be really specific where we hit it play strategic golf, not just hidden hope. So our preparation going into that event will be
pretty high on the list of, of things that we've got to work towards. Well, thanks for the time, and yeah. I will talk to you in February. Thank you. Carson Wynn Golf Coach Suzanne Strudwick. I'm Matthew Osborne, and this is CNEagles.com.